Hey, everybody. Two boys, one brain cell. Joel Norton, Charles Geeson. And, uh, oh, my and, God. <laughs> and, uh, we're doing a uh, reaction for Different Days by Jason Isbell. And, uh, yeah, I, we're, I've been been loving this, dude. Yeah. You we've ready been, to jump up in this, Jiggles? Yeah, we've been uh, working our way right through that Southeastern album. And uh, it's been good. It's been good so far. You want to hit send? You got it. Staring at the pictures of the runaways on the wall Seems like these days you couldn't run away at all And even if you did what you got to run away to Just another drunk daddy with a white man's point of view I can see you in my mind's eye catching Sleep beside the river if we make it out of town tonight You can strip in Portland from the day you turn 16 You got one thing to sell, Minnesota has a pain and Ten years ago I might have seen you dancing in a different light And offered up my help in different ways But those were different days were different days Had a girl back home and we shared a single bed When I whispered in her ear she believed every word I said And if she didn't believe she didn't dare give me a slack For it was baby I love you get off of my goddamn back Time went by and I left and I left again Jesus loves the sinner but the highway he loves the sin I really like that phrase. Jesus loves the sinner but the highway loves the sin. Yeah. Man. I just, the, the, the vibe and his delivery on this, I'm, I'm loving it. I got lost for half of that just in the vibe. Yeah, like... Uh, Which doesn't happen normally for me. Like, normally at all, let alone with slow songs. Yeah. It's just very... It's like very... Yeah, I like it. His like, voice with the acoustic he's got going on? Yeah. Beautiful. Loving it. Let, let's finish, Robin. All right, let's get it. Jesus loves the sinner, but the highway he loves the sin. My daddy told me, I believe he told me true, that the right thing's always the hardest thing to do. Ten years ago, I might have stuck around for another night, used her in a thousand different ways. Those are different days. Those were different days. And the story is only mine to live and die with. And the answer is only mine to come across. But the ghost that I got scared and I got high. Look a little long Ten years ago I might Thought I didn't have the right To say the thing that outlaw wouldn't say But those were different days Those were different days Love it, dude. Like, I don't know if this is exactly what he's getting across with the lyrics, but when I'm listening to it, it's like a it almost makes me look back at my own life and like 
recall things that like how I was different or something or how oh, I yeah. reacted in a scenario or something. Yeah. Or you might have this little clip of a memory and then you don't do that now. Or you're yeah. not that way now. And it's just different. Yeah. That's what it, this song does to me. Um, back when you were wild, crazy, had the real messed up jokes, but now you just love the dad jokes? I never said I love the dad jokes, first of all. You ain't got to say it. Second, You're friends with me, second. and I love the dad jokes, so there's something here. I put up with you. We're acquaintances at <laughs> so best. Jeez. Oh, no. really? <laughs> That's oh. not what you said the last reaction. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, well, Was the last reaction different days? Wow. <laughs> You're welcome. What did you think of the song, Chuck? Oh, I thought it was great. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> yeah, I really liked it. I thought it it definitely gives you that nostalgia feel. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think that's the best way to put it. No matter what your past or what you've done in your, you know, the old days, the way he sung it and everything that went with it yeah, just made you think of yours. Mm-hmm. Really made you reminisce on your old days. I agree. I agree. You have anything else you want to add, bud? Um, yeah. Ratings? Uh, ratings. Yeah. I'm going to go with a 6.7 out of 10. Okay. And it definitely goes in a playlist. I'm going to go with a 7.9 out of 10 and uh, definitely makes a playlist as well. And potential to go up as, as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Always potential to go up. Yes. I'm going to be listening to this one a few more times. Once I finish, are we going to do more reactions from this guy? I mean, I hope we get more reactions from this guy. Do you want to finish this whole album? We've already done like four songs off this album. Absolutely. Guys, we're finishing this album. You heard it here first. I just want to make sure I was good with my partner in crime. I 100%. Him, I made, you notice I made sure I asked in front of you guys. So I can't say no. <laughs> oh, I could have. <laughs> we all know I could have. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but no, this is just a really enjoyable album. So after I finish this album, I'm going to do what you were doing with Avril Lavigne's new album. And I'm going to. Oh, absolutely. Really listen to this for sure. And. The beauty of it is I know the last song off the album for Avril Lavigne is on this. Yeah. And I'm ready to rock and roll. (laughs) I know what I'm listening to on the way into work tomorrow. Hell yeah. All right. Well, guys, this is, uh, this has been Joel Norton, Charles uh, Geeson, and, uh, you guys have a wonderful night. Two boys, one brain cell piece. Peace.